If you don't know by now that Aaron Judge is the Chief Justice of the Supreme Sport, then you're not paying detention, which is what we say at my house. You're not paying <laughs> detention. <laughs> As of this recording, knowing that they are in Washington playing the Nationals right now, and it is currently the top of the fourth. We're doing it a little early. Aaron Judge, as of this recording, has homered in nine out of his last 10 games, 45 in the last 94 games. He hit two on Sunday versus Colorado. That was numbers 50 and 51 on the season. Incredible. Officially, he is now, because he hit 50, he's now the fifth player in Major League Baseball history with at least three 50 home run seasons. The others are McGuire and Sosa, but, you know, and then A-Rod, but, you know, and then Babe Ruth. Those are, the, those are the only guys who've ever had three or more 50 home run seasons. It's it's incredible. And it he's doing incredible. it clean. Let's just call it. Like, he's doing it clean. Everybody knows it. There, I feel like it's not in question at all. So, could you imagine if he wasn't? <laughs> Ooh. It would shatter baseball. It would. Did you imagine how big he would be on steroids? Like, oh yeah, is yeah this is yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. Is like his physique. Like he's just a naturally big guy, right? And he's six yeah. seven, what two thirty, six, eight. two forty. Mm-hmm. But so he's a naturally big dude. But if he was on steroids, you would see it, <laughs> and he yeah. would be an absolute behemoth of a man and he yeah. would be hitting 80 to 90 home runs a season because he oh that's yeah what dude. happens <laughs> well we've seen that we Don't know what it. that will that'll get you 73 home runs in a single season by the way yeah i said that out loud okay <laughs> what's even more astonishing about Aaron Judge's pursuit of 60 plus this year is that he began the season in a horrible slump and was really only on pace for 28 home runs at the beginning of the season. Check this out. You ready? Did some analysis. I'm ready. Oh. Let's let's talk about his slugging percentage, okay? He sees 38.7% of the pitches that he sees and then puts in play, Okay. 38.7% of the balls he puts in play, he pulls. He pulls with a slugging percentage of 1.240, just his pull. To straightaway, his slugging is 851, and that accounts for 34.3% of the balls he puts in play. Figure out how balanced that is. And then he goes opposite field at 1.012 slugging, and that's 26% of the balls he puts in play. That is the definition of balance plus power in every way. Well, and it makes sense that the slug is lower just because of the distance of the field and straightaway center field and in the alleys and things like that. So he's going to be getting doubles instead of homers, where he's getting homers instead of doubles off home and pull side. So it makes perfect sense the way that the numbers are are adding or distributing, I guess. And yeah, and he has a swing where he really does. Like you always hear hitting coaches say, stay on the inside part of the ball. He does a great job of that. It's just that he happens to be a massive human being who hits the ball <laughs> yeah. 400 feet so many times. <laughs> so yeah. he ends up, he ends up hitting that many home runs. Well, he's looking middle out, right? And then he can climb. He, he His hands are so fast that he can drop it in there. And and he can attack an inside pitch as well. So let me show this video, just a little highlight reel, plus his spray chart. You can see the distribution up to today of his 2024 hits spray chart. We've got home runs in red, and you can see that not very many of them are cheaters. There's one in left field that you could call a cheapy. It's right up there with where a double, they're right overlaid. Well, he might have he might have snuck that one up, or it might have hit the uh, the front row of the monster. Might have yep. been what that was, right? Exactly. So I can see that. Yeah, that accounts for all of the fields he's played in, by the way, not just you know Yankee Stadium or or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, 
Okay, you ready for this? <clears throat> yeah. Of his 51 home runs, 29 of them have been on fastballs. Okay? 22 of them have been on any other kind of pitch. Again, balanced. Of the 29 homers against fastballs, he's taken 10 pull and 19 between straight and opposite field. Straight away center and opposite field. 10. And then 19. Of the 22 non-fastballs, 13 of them he's pulled, and 9 of them have gone straight away or to the opposite field. I mean, go you just where are you gonna throw this guy? <laughs> you can't throw him anything unless you spike it in the dirt, but his chase rate is lower this year than it's ever been. Incrementally, every year his chase rate gets lower and lower and lower. Well, and the thing is, and so to me that says like you were talking about, his hands are so fast that he can sit off speed and then react to fastballs. Yeah. Right? That's yep. crazy. He's incredible. In 2022, Judge hit 62 home runs. Everybody knows that, right? It was an enormous deal. And if you didn't before, you do now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the <laughs> w- whatever. Um, over 131 games in 2022 versus the 131 games he's played so far in this season. His line, 51 home runs both ways. 2022 and 2024. Through 131 games. He's hit 51 home runs in both years. His slash line in 2022 through 131 games was 333, 465, and 736. This season, 51 home runs. His slash line is 296, 399, and 664. That's pretty good. (laughs) That's pretty good. (laughs) So uh, after his two homer day, he's on pace for I think sixty three. Let's get that up. Sixty three is right what they now. that's what they said on Sports Center last night was sixty three. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's interesting though because the numbers, the average, the slug, the on base, that's all down from what it was two years right. ago. But mm-hmm. like you said, he started the year off with a ridiculous slump. It so he's was, been digging out of a hole. It was awful. So, <laughs> so the last ninety five games, ninety four, ninety five games. He has, that's, this is what the product has been. Had he not started in a slump and we had come on the same pace with the same numbers, man, he, he'd already be at 58. Yeah. Yep. He'd be up there. He could be chasing. I I wouldn't be surprised if in a year or two, if he ends up chasing 70, I think at some point he will. I hope so, man. I hope so. That I feel like 60 is just the tip of the iceberg. And he's got he's to stay healthy. Last year he had that foot issue. It seems like things are yeah. better now, right? Yeah. Um, and he, it's just it's a long season, and it's hard to stay healthy. But he's done a really great job. He's surprisingly durable for a guy his size and I his agree. age. Like, he's in his 30s, so he's, his warranty is up, Brig. <laughs> yeah, he's, it's over. <laughs> There's no so, guarantees anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right very cool it is and like easy even as somebody who's not a, a judge or i'm a judge fan but not a yankee fan like this kind of stuff just further solidifies being a judge fan even though yeah we're team like you can hate so, the yankees all you want but i don't know anybody that hates aaron judge like and he's such an all-around decent human being 